Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Hope you're having a great week. It is Friday. It is a Twinkle Tip Friday and it's time for me to share something with you about some fun things that we get to do in X Lights and you don't want to miss this one. Let's get started. That's right, folks. This week we're going to talk about the X Lights Sphere model. And it, it is harder to say whenever you're doing it in front of a camera, let me tell you. Um, but anyway, I wanted to I wanted to share some of the basics about the sphere model and being able to utilize it along with some programming aspects in X Lights. Many people might consider putting this on the top of their mega tree and doing some cool things like that with it as a tree topper. That's the way I'm going to approach it in this uh, kind of a lesson. Before we begin, we need to scan the Abbas Goya website just a little bit. We need to get some information on the Sphere model. And the reason we need this information is so that we can build our model in x -Lights to match the model of the Sphere that we're receiving. So uh, if we scroll down here to the product information page, you can see you can read all about it here. It, it tells you all about the things that are in it. But uh, one of the things that you do have to be aware of, it takes the Evo pixels. Now, I know uh, they happen to be uh, kind of hidden. Uh, they're, the, the Evo pixels haven't either arrived or they've been lost or they're so we all know that the Evos are the coveted little pixels that everybody's waiting for. And um, But what I wanted to show you is, is even though you're using Evos in these, uh, whenever they do arrive, you'll be able to build this model. You'll be ready and raring to go because you already added this into x -Lite. So this is for all you folks who are waiting for those Evos just for your sphere model, which we're going to build right now. So x -Lite has the native sphere model and in order to make this model, we need to create the matrix model in the sphere. It's a 25 by 36 matrix. This has 900 pixel holes. So we have a total of uh, 25 by 36, that's 900 uh, total pixels. And we're going to split that up between what I'm gonna say three outputs on your controller. Let me go ahead and let's move into X lights and get started. So the first place we're going to look for the Spear model is straight up ahead here. And we'll go ahead and click one time on it. Now I'm going to click and drag. And notice I'm going to try to make this about the same size as the Mega Tree star here. The star that we're looking at is a 36-inch star. Now, by, by Boscoyo's own admission, this is a 30-inch uh, sphere. So if we kind of eyeball it, I don't have scaling turned on in x lights here where we can see, oh, this is exactly scaled to three feet. Uh, that's a 36-inch star. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it's close enough. So I'm just going gonna, gonna to model it about the same size. And if, if we do that, then it's going to appear good enough in our home preview, and that should be enough to get us going. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go back in and we need to look at what were our numbers again. So we had a 25 by 36 matrix, but we're going to use 900 pixels and we're going to use three outputs, right? So with that being said, let's go over here to the number of strings. We're going to do three strings. Like we said, we want to do three connections to our controller. Now we're going to do nodes per string. Well, that gives us 300 pixels. So three, three times 300 is 900. So we'll put that in there. And then the last thing that we need to know is uh, if we have 36, let me go back to the Boscoyo site, and let's grab our calculator to do this last one. If we have 25, uh, 25 pixels per run one of those one of those from top to bottom from uh, south pole to the north pole uh, if we have 25 of those and we have 300 pixels on a strand we can do 300 divided by 25 and that gives us 12 that's our number of loops or wraps or zigzags or whatever you want to call them that gives us 12 and we're going to put that here in the strands or strings so we'll go ahead and put 12 and boom now you can see our sphere model looks pretty pretty solid there and it looks ready to go now it's just a matter of what do we do with this thing how do we sequence this thing so if you are uh, a member of the ppd sequence club every month you get a new sequence 
And these uh, sequences, when we sequence on our star on our megatree, it's done at the star level. There's also something interesting that happens when we sequence at the star level. Uh, there are specific render styles that we use for the star. Some of those render styles will translate over to uh, any other regular model. Just note that it's going to be a little bit of fun learning which effects you like the best and what things map over to the best. All right, let's go ahead and create a new sequence in X-Lights. I am going to use um, an example of a uh, musical sequence. We'll go ahead and pull in, uh, let's do uh, music, uh, Bing Crosby, White Christmas. Bing Crosby's White Christmas, is a, it's a new sequence we put out this year, and it has a lot of wonderful star effects, we'll say. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to Import, Import Effects, and I'm going to navigate to... And I'm going to go find the Megatree star. Right here's the Megatree, here's the Megatree star. Let's go find the Sphere model, and that should be it should be called Sphere. That's one thing we didn't name it. Uh, S V H sphere. Well, it's a hard word to say sometimes. There we go. We'll map that over to from the star into the sphere, and we'll go ahead and click OK. That's the only thing we're going to bring over, right? So let's go ahead um, and let's go find it. There it is. It looks like since this is the only thing here, this is easy to find. And what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and hit the render key. And there you go, it's all rendered up and only took a couple seconds. And what you're gonna see here is just the basics. We'll go ahead and find our house our model preview. There we go. And we'll go ahead and click on the sphere here to activate it. There we go. And if we go ahead and play it, this is kind of what you get to see. Some of the neat effects that X Lights can apply just at the individual model level. Some of the sphere and uh, some of the, some of it's just the on effect or the color wash, but there's other little things that you can do inside your sphere. Just mapping from a mega tree star is enough to get it rolling. You can see it gets a little bit more exciting as the sequence goes on, but this isn't the only thing that I want you to see. I want you to know that you're not stuck if you don't care for some of these effects. You could always completely map something different to your prop if you're mapping sequences. So let's go in. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Let's go ahead and import from the same sequence. Let's go. Let's go and map from the same sequence. Uh, Bing Crosby. And let's go ahead and map, let, honestly, the, the, the matrix. Let's put the matrix over on top of that. So we'll grab the matrix at Garage. We're going to use the checkbox Erase Existing Effects on Imported Models. And then we'll scroll down and find that sphere again. And we will double click on it over here. And now we've mapped the matrix and Garage, uh, at Garage that is, and we'll click OK. And now you have, and now I'm, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do this. That, because let's face it, the sphere model is nothing more, when we look at this, when we select it, right click, and we look at the node layout, the sphere model is nothing more than a giant matrix. That's it. It's a giant matrix. It starts here. Node 1, string 1 goes up, down, up, down, up, down. And then this is string 1. This is string 2 right here. And this is string 3 right here behind me. And so you're, you're actually sequencing on a grid. So it, it makes sense that you can map the matrix or the or even the megatree sequencing if if you so choose. So let's go ahead. We'll uh, go ahead and render this out. And um, we'll go ahead and play it whenever it's done. See, that didn't take too long. And again, now if I go here and let's go to the house, you can see that the effects translate over and anything that you bring in, it's going to work really decently well on the sphere model. Now, if you don't like something, again, like I said, you can always map something completely different. So one last thing that I want to do here, folks, and let's go ahead and, and, and uh, do another import. Let's go in XML here and we'll go find that. We'll map one more uh, sequence over and this way you can physically see the difference between these two models here. 
and we'll go to the mega tree star and we'll put the mega tree star on the star and then we'll take the mega tree star also and we'll put it on the sphere so you should be able to see exactly what the star effects will look like on the sphere as they are applied to the sphere if we scroll down to the bottom here you see the mega tree star and now you see both options here you see the mega tree star to my left and you also see the spear so if we go ahead and we render this takes no time at all there and we go ahead and play it you can see here that this is the way the two different render styles work on the sphere versus the mega tree star so you can see that you can actually have a lot of really cool effects going across the star but also apply them to the sphere and this is why it's important for you to be able to map a little bit of use a little creativity whenever it comes to mapping things there's so much that can happen that that the sphere model can do because of its circular shape it has the ability to bend the effects around the prop to give it different looks that it never could have had if it were on say a flat or two-dimensional prop well there you have it folks the sphere model in x lights mapping simple it's super easy it doesn't matter what effects you map over to it it's going to have its own unique look to it you can map matrixes you can map stars you can map you can map a mini tree to it you can map candy canes to it it's going to look amazing but the point is is that it is a very classy looking prop it is very unique and yes it's going to take some time to put it together however the level of smiles that you're going to get from it just seeing it do this in real life there's nothing like it i've worked with some major sphere models and let me tell you this thing is a lot of fun to sequence and to enjoy whenever it's out in your show. So guys, that's everything for me here at Pixel Pro Displays. We hope that you like this video. If you did, please give us a huge thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the big subscribe button down below and don't forget the bell for notifications so you never miss any of our future Twinkle Tip Friday videos or anything else that we're putting out on YouTube. Remember that every Tuesday we get together in our PPD Zoom room. You are welcome to join us at Pixel Pro University on Facebook. Links are in the description. We do a webinar or an open mic night session. So if you're learning about the hobby, you're welcome to join us and learn more about it. If you like cool shirts just like this one, go to pixelprodisplays.com click on our shop and go to our gear and you can order one of our two titans of twinkle or our pixel me this t-shirts and if you appreciate the things that we do here at pixel pro displays please consider becoming a ppd sequence club member where you should totally join it is absolutely one of the best sequence clubs out there you get a choice of one of three songs each and every month we call it the triple play sequence and they're always a one new to the store sequence and you get a choice of three others so it's heck of a deal um if you like the other songs too don't forget you get them 50 percent off nobody in the regular community gets the deals except for the ppd club members and that's always for you guys thank you guys for joining us we hope this video is helpful informative and we will see you in the next video take care and goodbye for now That's right, folks. This week we're going to talk about the X Lights Sphere. 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 That's right, folks. This week we're going to talk about the X Lights. <laughs> uh.